So guys, now let us try to understand how TCP receiver responds when it receives out of order data segments from the TCP sender. Now you can see that in this example, we have assumed that the size of data segments generated by TCP sender is 100 bytes. And at this point of time, the TCP receiver has already received 100 bytes of data with sequence number from 1 to 100 from TCP sender already, right? So the next sequence number which TCP receiver expects from TCP sender is 101 and onwards. So let us suppose that TCP sender sends four data segments towards TCP receiver. We can see that the starting sequence number of the first data segment is 101, followed by 201, followed by sequence number 301 and 401. Note that depending on the amount of application data, the application has provided to underlying TCP on the TCP sending side, the TCP sender can generate multiple segments and inject into the network. Now the question that how many segments the TCP sender can send onto the network is a matter of discussion for the next two sections of the course. For now, let us just understand that TCP sender has the capability to generate and send multiple data segments in the network. Now let us suppose that out of these four data segments, the segment number 201 get lost in the network. It means that TCP receiver will receive segment number 101, 301 and 401. Right? So you can see the TCP receiving buffer would look something like this. Right? It will have all the bytes which it has received from the TCP sender except the bytes which corresponds to the segment whose sequence number is 201. Because this particular segment was lost in the network, therefore TCP receiver had not received bytes number from 201 up to 300 and therefore there is a hole in the TCP receiver's buffer. Remember the buffer of a TCP receiver is a circular buffer and each slot of this buffer corresponds to a byte. So treat the TCP receiving buffer as an array of bytes. Now in this buffer the byte number from 201 up to 300 is missing. So TCP protocol is so designed that TCP receiver do not like holes in its receiving buffer. Right? It has to always fill with the consecutive bytes. So TCP receiver accepts the out of order bytes which is coming from the TCP sender. As you can see that TCP receiving buffer is filled with byte number from 301 to 500. Though these bytes were received out of order. Because byte number from 201 to 300 is missing. So TCP receiver accepts bytes out of order from the TCP sender but TCP receiver sends an ACK in order to fill the holes first before demanding the new fresh segments from TCP sender. So you can see that here TCP receiver will generate an ACK with acknowledgement number 201. It means that the TCP receiver is attempting to fill the hole in its receiving buffer. So note that TCP receiver will not generate ACK with acknowledgement number 501 but rather it will generate an acknowledgement with acknowledgement number 201. Why? Because there is a hole in the TCP receiving buffer and TCP is so designed that TCP receiver attempts to fill its hole first before demanding new fresh segments from the TCP sender. So now when this acknowledgement is received by the TCP sender, what do you think, what should TCP sender do? The obvious thing that TCP sender must do is to retransmit the segment with sequence number 201, right? Because the reception of this ACK means that segment with sequence number 201 has not yet received by the TCP receiver. So the question is, what should TCP sender do when it receives this ACK? Will it retransmit the data segment with sequence number 201? The answer is that TCP sender retransmit the segment with sequence number 201 only when it receives three ACK with acknowledgement number 201. The TCP sender do not straight away send data segment when it receives an ACK for the data segment which it has already sent to the TCP receiver. 
you can see that TCP sender has already sent the data segment with sequence number 201 to the TCP receiver. So if the TCP sender receives the ACK201, then TCP sender do not immediately retransmit the data segment with sequence number 201, but rather the TCP sender retransmit the data segment 201 only when it receives three such ACKs. So let us try to understand this with the help of an example on the next slide.